Hockey Tima Saddle Club. And we're hosting a round today! Woo! Sorry, what are you here? Oh my god, I was just everywhere! I remember you saying that you like horses, so I got my friend Pam here to let you do some easy chores. <laughs> Hi, I'm Pamela and I work at the Bukit Timah Saddle Club. I've been taking care of horses for the past six and a half years. So this area that you see here, this is one of the paddock areas for the centre and we run riding lessons for both adults and kids here. Early in the morning, what we usually do at first will be to bring all the ponies out into the fields. Okay, so horses that are not working in the morning, they need time out in the big fields to just play with their usual social groups, make friends, as well as learn how to just be a horse. Is a pony just a young horse? Ponies are actually small-sized horses. Both of them are of the same species, uh, Equus ferus. In the pony, right, you can actually identify them by their outward appearance. In general, they usually have a stocky body. They have a disproportionately shorter legs, like Taeyang from Big Bang. And <laughs> so horses are usually measured in what we call hens. We measure horses and ponies from their withers, which is this part here. Now a pony will be measured from 14.2 hands and below, so that is approximately 145 centimeters. Look at this. My little pony, my little pony. Na 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 na. That's probably not a song, but it's okay. okay fun time's over. Let's get to some real work. Okay. Oh, I'm tired. It's really okay. Horses are herbivores, so they don't really eat meat, which is actually the reason why our poop smells bad. So does vegan poop smell good? Hmm. And any vegans out there to tell us that? <laughs> Leave your <laughs> suggestion in the comments below. <laughs> oh, that was tiring. I said already. And it's just one stable, they have to do like multiples of it. Every single day. So horses generally eat about 2% of their body weight. So that's like a range from 5 kg to 10 kg. But it really depends on the horses. So those hot blooded ones, meaning the super high energy ones, you reduce the food intake so that they won't become so hyper. And some of the horses they burn a lot of energy, so that's why you need to feed a bit more. So I'll take you guys around to introduce you to some of the horses that we have and show you some of the colours of the horses that live here. So this here is April. So April is what we call a dun. So this here is Armani. Armani is what we call a chestnut color. So it's a little bit of an orange hue to his hair. Luigi is what we would call a gray. In the horse world, there are actually no such thing as a white horse. All horses, they start out with either as a black base or chestnut color. So all the other variations in colors, right, is because other genes start to interact with this main gene, which is the chestnut and the black base. That's how you get the variety of different colours and patterns of the horses. So this here is Charlie. He is one of our geldings. Uh, what's a gelding? So geldings are basically castrated males. <gasps> our club here, we do not have any stallions because uh, they're usually a bit temperamental and not quite safe to have when we have too many kids and teenagers running around. When you castrate a horse, you remove its testicles, which are the organs that produce the hormones and also the sperm. So by removing that, you will reduce the hormone-driven kind of impulsive behaviour. Is there any differences between male and female horses? Eh, they actually look pretty similar. There's, no mu there's not much of a difference in size. So one of the easiest ways to find out is just... Look down! Hi, I'm Romel. Uh, I do horseshoeing here. I put horseshoe to the hooves to support the hooves. A horse hoof is actually a structure of different tissues surrounding a bone inside known as the distal phalanx. So that is equivalent to like the most extreme tip of our third finger. So the outermost layer of the hoof is actually made of keratin, which is the same material that makes up our hair and nails. So we have to trim our hair and our nails, right? Same for the horses as well, they have to have many cures to maintain their hooves so that they will be able to walk properly. So they are essentially walking on their toes like 
ballerinas with enlarged toes. Like, yeah. So our morning duties are done. Now I'll grab my helmet. Oh. Hel helmet? Yeah, helmet. So as a reward for all your hard work this morning, we're gonna give you a ride. Really? It's actually pretty magical when it stopped when I asked her to stop and you moved when I asked her to move. It's like, like when you try it yourself, it's like, whoa! Thank you, Pam, so much for bringing me around and thank you, Bukit Timah Saddle Club, for giving me the chance to actually ride on a horse. If you guys would like to learn how to ride a horse, you can check this place out. So we'll provide a link to their website below. Alternatively, you can also check us out on Facebook. You can just search for Bukit Timah Saddle Club and it should pop up there. Yay, that's all for today! Just keep thinking!